don't be scared. Today we're going to make this vintage Halloween set. And we're going to start with the crystal ball. All we're doing is outlining with piping consistency icing. This is Americolor Black. Don't worry if you mess up. You can always go back and fix your little boo-boo. We're flooding with that same color, Americolor Black. And this is just a thinner icing. I just thin it down with a little bit of water. Smooth it out with your scribe. And if it's still not smooth, just give it a little tap tap. Now I am just using this stencil on the bottom because I didn't want the stencil on the whole thing. So I just slid it down in my holder. That is America, excuse me, Amera Mist Gold. Gold sheen to be specific. And I really oversaturated the uh, gold because I wanted it kind of speckled and vintagey looking. This is piping consistency, Americolor Black icing. And I'm making little bones here. Basically, as I do it, I want it kind of thicker on the ends and thinner on the in the middle, um, except for the, the fingertips. I want them a little more pointy. We're just going to continue wrapping those fingers around the crystal ball. And I just wanted a little more definition between the ball and the little stand. So I just piped with our piping consistency black royal icing down here at the bottom. And there's the finished product. And moving on, these are our floral. Um, I'm going to show you how to make two different uh, floral cookies. And I just piped the Americolor, the Amera Mist gold sheen onto the edges. And now basically I'm just making a blob. And I'm gonna start really close to the cookie. And I'm gonna go in sort of like a rainbow, like an arch um, motion. And this is stiff royal icing. You want it to be super stiff so it doesn't fall down, as you see it's still kind of sticking up and this is that same exact Amerimus uh, gold it's really airbrush color but I used it to paint which I do often actually with I do watercolors with Amerimus and we're just getting the tips okay now this is a little easier for a beginner this is a star tip and we're just going to point it straight down start in the middle and squeeze as we slowly move our hand around and around and i'm going to show you what to do if you have uh, a little oopsie no big deal so we're just going to take our scribe and scrape off that excess and then we're going to tap down the little parts that are sticking out and now we're going to do the same exact thing we're just painting the lines the the very top of our flower and you can see where we airbrush the edges of our cookie okay and this guy's next we're starting with our piping consistency black royal icing. And then we're gonna come in with our flood. I like to start at the edges and work my way in and then use my scribe to smooth everything out. And on this one, I'm doing kind of the opposite thing I did with the, um, the crystal ball. I am airbrushing the outside. Just kind of give it a little glow. Now I am freehanding this bird. Is it a crow? Is it a raven? I don't know. I can't remember the difference. Do you know? And I'm just using my scribe to smooth it down. Kind of give a little hook to that beak. This is all piping consistency royal icing. And I'm just kind of building up because you want 
his little face to be a little bit fatter than his beak was. So I'm going to continue working my way down. That is a PME black pearl. And it's uh, just a basically a big sprinkle made by the company PME. And what I'm doing is I'm just using a slightly wet brush to pull that icing down and give it more texture, make it look more like leaves. I'm just doing the same thing with the, the little claws there. Okay, need a little, little more booty there. Okay, and so I wanted to have the wing come out just a little bit more, give it a little more depth. And I love how it's kind of hanging off the side of the cookie there. And I just want to build up the shoulder a little bit. So I just add a little bit there. So he's all done. And now moving on to our spider. And this is still our stiff icing. I'm sorry, our, our piping consistency, foil icing. I'm just using my scribe to smooth him out just a little bit. He still wasn't smooth enough, so I gave him a little shake. Now I'm going to get his little pinchers in there, and I just make little dots, take my scribe, and pull them out, make them a little thinner. You know, as I was making this, I was wondering if people with arachnophobia are afraid of stuff like this. <laughs> like, does it bother you? I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully uh, a little icing spider won't bother you too much. Okay, and so I'm just coming along with my piping consistency royal icing, making legs, and I realized that I made this spider's legs kind of like mine, really short. So I came back and uh, went over them to make longer legs. Okay, and we're going to start on our beetle. We're doing the same exact thing. I'm just doing it in sections. So that's his head, and got it. one wing, smooth that out, our other wing, smooth that out, and give him some little pinchers just like the spider has, so dot, dot, pull him out with a scribe. And he needs legs, creepy little legs. Okay, and I took that same gold Amerimis. And I used it to paint my uh, bugs, my bug and my spider. And here's the finished product. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more cookie decorating videos.